Orlando Canizales once hit a man so hard, he did a somersault. And, like the rest of his incredible style, Canizales' power was rooted in his absolutely insane high-level footwork. Canizales combined lightning-fast movements with unusual angles and ferocious intensity to cut his way through the bantamweight division. At only 5'4", Canizales still had enough power to earn an impressive 37 KOs. The closest thing to a real-life Wolverine from X-Men, Canizales defended his title 15 times, and he often made it look easy, simply walking through elite competition. So let's take a look at the unusual but highly effective footwork that made Canizales such a terror to his opponents. The first thing you'll notice when watching Canizales is probably how much he liked to play with angles. Canizales was like Willy Pep after 10 cups of coffee. He can move to the inside or the outside and preferred to do so at mid or long range and these would set up his enters and exits into and out of exchanges. By moving so deep to the inside, Canizales would square up with his opponent, much like Mike Tyson liked to do. This is an incredibly risky position, since it left both him and his opponent equally open and vulnerable. But like Tyson, Canizales was betting that he was just better and could beat his opponent while squared up, mano a mano. That being said, Canizales was a lot trickier and craftier than that. He was betting that he could win these dangerous positions, not because he was tougher, but because he knew his skillful use of angles could keep him safe and set up his punches. For instance, by stepping so deep to the inside towards his opponent's rear foot, he aligned his rear hand directly down the center line, and this put him in the perfect position to set up crosses, overhands, or rear uppercuts. But of course, stepping to this dangerous inside position brought Canizales' head closer to his opponent's rear hand as well, presenting a tantalizing target. But Canizales was ready for this and used it against them. After Canizales drew a punch, he would move in even deeper with a step or a shuffle. He was very fond of this one and two and rhythm, but it would also mix it up by pausing at times, further confusing the opponent. Whichever method he used, Canizales' extra steps deeper inside added considerable power to his counters. The results speak for themselves. But this was only half the story, because Canizales also had a lot of tactics involving moving to the outside, towards his opponent's back. And much like how his inside movement perfectly aligned his rear hand down the opponent's center line, Canizales' outside movement perfectly aligned his lead hand down the opponent's center line. And this put him at a dominant angle to uppercut or hook between or around his opponent's guard. By putting his opponents at this awkward angle, Canizales forced them to adjust in order to get him back in their sights. But in the time it took them to adjust, Canizales would already land his counter. I've covered this concept of using angles to gain tempo before with other fighters. But if you'd like to see a good, in-depth video on this concept specifically about Canizales, I would recommend checking out Hidden Gems' channel after you're done watching this video. The guy does really good work. It's really worth pointing out though, that Canizales' movement didn't just create advantageous angles. It also packed an insane amount of power into his punches. For instance, by stepping outside as he threw, Canizales could add a tremendous amount of power to his lead hand just as he could add a lot of power to his rear hand by stepping inside. Because he was constantly playing with angles and feinting to either side, 
opponents never really knew which way he would go. And Canizales would pair these inside and outside sequences together. Notice here how he uses the inside pattern, then immediately executes the outside pattern. These fast transitions often left opponents bewildered, or sometimes not, because it's hard to be bewildered while you're unconscious. Because Canizales was so comfortable with these extreme outside angles, it was very easy for him to pull off turn shift counters. Rather than realign himself into his proper stance when opponents tried to exit out of an exchange, Canizales was comfortable enough to simply turn into a southpaw position, catching his opponent as he tried to flee. It's worth noting that Canizales could stop moving if he wanted to, instead using head movement to create these extreme angles, although to a lesser extent. These tactics are very popular with close range fighters, as placing the head on either side of the center line can create many of the same punching angles. But while Canizales was decent at this, he really thrived using the extreme angles available from mid to long range footwork. After all, these head positions could never create the same kind of power that his footwork could. But what Canizales did do was use these head movement tactics to supplement his incredible footwork. And these set up some ludicrous tricks and tactics. His favorite sequence was to move deep inside, then weave away to exit outside. With this same pattern, he could draw punches to set up multiple different shots. For instance, he could counter his opponent's punch on the entry, or throw during or after exiting. Or, he could enter, exit outside again, but then immediately rebound right back with an even harder punch. By playing with expectations like this, Canizales could box circles around his competitors. Remember, in just this breakdown, we've covered how he went from inside to deeper inside, inside outside, or inside, outside, inside. If you're confused, just imagine how it felt to be his competitors. This is why Orlando Canizales is amazing to watch. He was an aggressive bolt of lightning in the ring, but Canizales was able to channel that unrelenting ferocity into highly developed technical mastery. Put simply, he was one of a kind. To learn more about the techniques covered in this video, you can check out my books on footwork, power, and aggressive defense, linked below. From the Modern Martial Artist, this has been David Christian, wishing you happy training.